everyone. I just wanted to record a quick tutorial on how to kind of create this faux HDRI gradient lighting background setup. I just learned how to do it. I think it's pretty cool. So check this out. So you're going to want to go to your world tab when you click on a material. And these are the nodes I currently have. What I have essentially is in the viewport shading or either of these rendering modes, I've got scene lights and scene world turned on. I've got some lights in the scene and uh, I'm using the scene world instead of the matcap. So uh, my setup here is essentially using a background node and using this background node to fill in the alpha behind him. Essentially, when we use is camera ray, we can tell Blender that we want to use this node to fill in the background. So watch if I plug this in and I have these two nodes set up. I can basically change the background to whatever color I want. So I'm going to go with like a sky blue, like so. And then from here, you can just use, if you wanted to use any color, you could just like this, and also brighten the scene. But what I'm going to try and show you how to do is use the gradient texture to drive this effect. Okay, so what you want to do is go ahead and add a gradient texture. If you have Node Wrangler enabled, you can press Control T, and it'll give you this to work with. You want to add a color ramp. Plug that in here. I'm going to go ahead and rotate this on negative 90. And then you can use these sliders to essentially choose the colors you want to be in the gradient. Okay, and then once you have that set up, you can basically move these around to be however you want. I'm going to give it like a little bit of a faux horizon, and that looks great. Um, and you can do this exact same thing here to this other node, which is driving the light. So you can kind of create a faux HDRI. This right now, this logic's only controlling the background, so let's go ahead and copy it and plug that into here. Brings this down to like 0.5. You can kind of see what's happening. It's filling in this lighting information to your light in the scene. You can go ahead and add whatever colors you think look great and adjust these sliders to be the thing that you think looks nice. And I would go with colors that are already in the scene to mimic bounce light, so that would be blues and pinks. Yeah, I've adjust these around like this. And then you've got really nice lighting. Hope this was helpful to someone. Guys later. Bye.